here it is guys this is the Ishin QX 90C from Banggood.com and it's my new favorite out of these bind and fly brushed micro quadcopters now don't ask me why they have called it the QX 90C because it doesn't resemble the original QX 90 at all but one thing I do know is that it somehow weighs just 33 grams without a battery and 49 grams with its 600 milliamp one cell battery and that is very light in fact it's the lightest setup that I currently have in a brushed micro it's actually a 70 millimeter plastic frame despite its name we have 8520 cordless motors with 55 millimeter props now while this frame won't take rolling spider propellers it doesn't need them and you will see that later in the flight for FPV you are given a 32 channel all-in-one 25 milliwatt camera held in by a rubber band. This one is using dip switches rather than the button that we are used to seeing but that's not an issue for me. We also are given a F3 EVO flight controller. This particular flight controller has a built-in D8 FreeSky receiver as well as a DSM2 and FlySky offering as an option. It comes with clean flight installed and you have to short these two bind pins at the front to get it to bind with your transmitter. I'm not a big fan of that so I shorted the pads with some solder and then bound it to my Tyrannus in D8 mode and then I desoldered the short afterwards. There's no buzzer or prop protector with this model. The only other contents of the package being the battery and a one cell charger a carbon fiber prop remover, a spare set of props and a very good manual. Out of the box there's only angle mode selected so I have changed that to angle horizon and acro in clean flight as well as arming on a switch and I've turned motor stop off as well so that when it arms the motors spin up. And of course you can flash beta flight if you want to but I haven't in this instance. Everything else is stock, I'm using my Fatshark Dominator V2s for FPV and as a DVR, so let's go and see how it flies. Okay, let's go for a takeoff and see what it's got. Whoa. <laughs> it's hovering on about 20% throttle. <laughs> okay, punch time. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's got some power. The thing just wants to take off on its own. Got a throttle position there. This has got to be the lightest setup yet. And maybe even a contender for that spin tech bill. Let's try again. Maybe even better than the Spintech build. Oh my goodness. This is going to cause a stir, I believe. A lot of people say to me, which one of these should I get? And I usually say the QX95, because it has the most amount of power. Step over QX95. There's another one in town now. Now, it's not going to be able to take the rolling spider props, but I don't think it needs them. It's so lightweight and got so much power. This is a good one. It's so small though, it's not going to show up on the camera very well. Let's see if I can get it close in. I think you guys are going to like this one because I like this one I just hope that camera's okay the camera looks very similar to the other QX models you know the ones that get the tadpole artifact on them but the camera's replaceable just look at this power it's not giving up either Okay, I think it's time to come in for a landing. 
and let's do some FPV with this guy. Well, there's no problem with the camera this time. In fact, it's dusk here and FPV cameras, specifically CMOS cameras, tend to struggle in this light and this one didn't. It was really terrible lighting conditions and I'm able to see the ground and the sky so really struggling to criticize this model at all. Now one thing that I wished I had done is gone and put beta flight on this and the reason that I didn't do that is I didn't really expect this to be the next contender for a best brushed ready to fly bind and fly whatever so I didn't do that but if you want to go and put beta flight on this thing I suggest that you do it's not to say that the clean flight tune wasn't any good it's just that I noticed in a couple of the rolls there was a slight hesitation when it was upside down and also a slight wobble when it leveled out just look at this power over this tree something that I usually reserve for the brushless models that one don't usually try that with brush models they don't usually have enough punch to make it over the tree but this one definitely does so the flight time I was getting about a six minute flight time and the range 120 meters easily those trees at the back there are 120 meters away so no complaints at all like I say the only thing I think I'd change is put beta flight on there and tune it that is just my preference you'll get a fantastic flight out of clean flight as I was doing here so there you go that is my review of the QX90C a bit of a bombshell, I think you will agree. I'll put links in the description if you wish to get one. I'll leave you with some flying. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.